This is Michelle and I'm doing my um, third update now on my global keratin treatment. As promised, I told you I was going to make a video and let you see how it looks air dried. So it's been almost a week. I had this treatment done last Saturday and I waited exactly three days and I washed it and then I uh, blow dried it and left it like that. And so um, tonight, which is Friday night, I went to the gym for the first time and um, washed it at the gym and then I let it air dry. So I, <clears throat> as I told you, I didn't expect it to dry straight. Um, these treatments are not straightening. It's not permanent straightening. It's basically like max conditioning, but it's supposed to eliminate frizz and relax it. And so I just want to show you this is, this is very, this is actually a huge improvement. I mean, I would actually wear my hair this way, probably put some product in it, but I didn't put anything in it because I wanted you to see um, just how it would look with nothing in it. Um, normally, I would always have um, a leave-in conditioner in it because um, it, otherwise it's just dry and fly away. So it would probably look a lot better with a leave-in conditioner or something. But anyway, so... It has, what it has done is it has definitely softened the texture of my hair. This part, I've been growing my bangs out, so I didn't, I kind of didn't know what to do with them, so that's why they're kind of flipped this way. But as you can see, they will kind of take on a shape. So, you know, I could have sat in front of a dryer and probably pumped this up with my hands and got it more curly, but I kind of just let it do its own thing, and it's much more softer. It's not very straight, and like I said, my hair is naturally, um, well, you didn't get to see how it looked before I had it done, but um, the best way to describe my hair is it's naturally very wiry. So, you know, I could let it dry. This part would get frizzy. Um, once I would brush my hair, it would be a big Brillo kind of thing. And if I pulled it back, then I wouldn't have a ponytail that laid flat. It would be very wiry to be kind of sticking out to give you some idea. So I guess that's a very coarse texture, naturally. The other thing I didn't explain was um, my hair has a lot of damage, which was caused by me changing the color constantly over the last two years, and I have a lot of breakage, and that was basically because my um, hairstylist was having to correct my hair every couple months, and she would highlight over it. So, unfortunately, I, my hair is actually normally much thicker, but seeing it air dry, the difference between how you saw it when it was um, blow dry out and how it dries naturally, it's how much fuller it is. So you can just imagine my hair twice as full if I had all my hair on my head. So um, that's just what I wanted to share with you tonight. And um, moving forward, I basically, like I said, I work out about five days a week. So I'm gonna be um, going to the gym and washing my hair probably about five days a week. So we wanna see how long the treatment lasts. The other issue was whether or not uh, excessive sweating would um, affect the treatment. It doesn't seem to be. Um, the other thing I should probably mention is that with all these treatments, they will advise you on what kind of um, chemicals to stay away from. For example, with the Brazilian blowout and the Brazilian keratin treatment, um, basically you can't have anything with um, SLS, laurel sulfate in it. And with this treatment, I was told specifically not to have anything with sodium chloride in it. Um, so basically, you got to read labels and you got to be careful what you put on your hair. And the other thing I should advise you is that almost every shampoo has um, the laurel sulfate ingredient in it. And um, so if you use soap on your body or soap to wash your face, you need to keep that in mind because if it gets up into your hairline, you know, you could be um, compromising your uh, due. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say, and um, I hope you're enjoying the updates, and um, I'll make one at, probably probably not one right away at this point. Um, I'm also now starting to experiment with um, using some products on it, like um, a color protector. I have one called Color S that I got over at Sally's, and it works really great. In fact, it makes it really sleek, like it was right when I first got the, the treatment. So I really like, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying having straight hair and all the freedom. I just also want to thank some of the people that um, I mentioned previously that um, their videos 
that you should check out. One of them is Ateya. She's basically talking about Aphigy, which is a really good product. I used to use it a long time ago to prevent breakage. Well, apparently they're still around and they have a whole product line. Anyway, her videos are absolutely amazing. Thank you, Ateya. And also um, Anna Maria Florencia. Um, check out her video on the um, Brazilian keratin treatment. Um, she was actually the, her videos actually was the one that finally made me say, okay, if, if they can, if this can tame her hair, it can, it can fix mine. Cause my hair is probably not as curly as hers, but it's definitely more curly than most of the other people who have videos out there. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying it and I'll make a new video soon. Thank you very much for watching.